This is a uh, response video, actually a second response video, primarily for Gimme a Break Man and Joe's Rambles. Um, yeah, it's been suggested to me more than once that had somebody come out with a hate video against my buddy, used to be 803, Jeremy, when he was, uh, you know, right after he died, I would have ripped him a new one, I would have jumped on it, I would have gone nuts, you know, and uh, um, and here's what I have to offer on that, because that actually did happen. Jeremy had a horrible hater come after him, and uh, in, in a really bad way, after he died. I mean, the guy was even planting hate comments on his channel page, where his family could see them. And it was way over the top. It was really disgusting shit. Really disgusting shit. This went beyond more than just stating an opinion. This was actually intentional infliction of emotional distress to his family. And, you know, I, I looked at it, and at first, yeah, I had my knee-jerk reaction was, oh, I gotta rip this guy apart, and I gotta get him thrown off of YouTube, and I gotta do all this horrible shit to this guy. I mean, this guy has to pay. But then I thought about, used to be 803, Jeremy. And in life, he had a horrible hater, California demon, whatever, I don't know. He was a real asswipe that really hounded Jeremy in everything he did. And I talked with Jeremy about this guy. And Jeremy's attitude was, you know, Dave, just turn the other cheek. I don't hate the haters. You know, they're always going to be haters. Just turn the other cheek. And in fact, he went on to the next level and said, you know, Dave, I just love the haters. You know, I don't care. You turn around, you take a hater, and you love them back. And I went, holy crap, this guy's amazing. I mean, this guy's amazing. And when Jeremy's hater came out after his death and just did all those awful things, my attitude was, what would Jeremy do? And I thought about it, and he would turn the other cheek, which is exactly what I did. Now, I bring this up for you, give me a break, man, and you, Joe's Rambles, because... Um, there are going to be a lot more hate videos coming out against Roger, I suspect. You know, Roger was a pretty controversial and caustic guy on YouTube, and he was a guy that really didn't care what people thought of him. So, I tend to think if Roger was here right now, looking at the videos that come out against him, the hate videos... He'd say, you know what, calm down everybody, because I don't give a fuck what these people think of me. I could not possibly care less what these assholes think or do against me. And you know what, I really sincerely believe that would be his attitude. And I offer you this in hopes that it gives you some peace. Because I know you guys are going to get upset at some of these videos and some of these people coming out and making comments, making videos. And I think in the spirit of Roger, you could adopt his attitude and say, you know what? Wouldn't affect Roger. I'm not going to let it affect me. In his memory, I'm going to adopt his attitude. And I only offer this to you because, like I say, I hope it gives you some peace. I know that when I took that mindset with used to be 803, Jeremy, it gave, I let go. I let go and it, he gave me such a gift with his philosophy. All I had to do was remember it and adopt it and it helped me so much. So I offer that to you guys and anybody else that will get upset at the videos coming out against Boring Dispatcher because I know there are going to be more of them. I've seen two of them so far. And I hope this helps you cope with that. Because, I, you know, I don't care. 
I don't like to see anybody going through any kind of emotional pain. I don't care who they are. Now, again, let's take it to another level and look at the channel review guy. And everybody's going to get on his ass and start hating on him. And, you know, how are you guys going to feel if he dies tomorrow? I mean, I'm just kind of throwing an olive branch the only way I know how, you know. I mean, everybody gets on the hate train, and haters are going to hate, and, you know. And when you get, when you grab a hold of that and hate back, you're just doing the same thing that they're doing, so it's kind of hypocritical. And I'm, that's kind of what Jeremy taught me. Jeremy taught me a lot of things. And I try to learn from them. I don't always succeed. But at least I always try. It's difficult stuff. It's really difficult to be as good a person as Jeremy was. But I try. Anyway, I just offer you that to try and help you guys. Uh, it's like, um, you know, putting a Band-Aid on an amputee. I know you guys are in pain. And... Uh, I offer my sympathies and my philosophies and hope in hopes that it helps. Cheers.